and welcome to FemTaro. I'm Natalie. This is for you, dear Cancer. We're going to look at now what the energy is till the end of the month. This is sort of mid month, uh, mid June reading. We want to see what the energy is like, what it is you should know, if there's anything that the universe needs to tell you, and also what's the advice? How do you get about it? How do you get to that uh, point? by the end of this month because don't forget June is packed with eclipses we have one coming up it's a solar eclipse in Cancer on your sign on Monday um, sorry on Sunday this Sunday which is the uh, 20th if I'm, I'm not mistaken anyhow I need to check that I'm sorry so let's check and let's see What's up with you, dear Cancer? I've already shuffled. And now we're going to ask. Ooh. You have the hangman. And four more cards. Okay, interesting. I just wanted three. So we have the hangman. Nine of pentacles. Page of Cups, King of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So, dear Cancer, there's a lot going on, I see. So, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for something. I have a feeling you're waiting for for a job, a commission, um, an opportunity, something that's been promised to you. It's, it's, it's been, you've been, it's been hanging around you, you know, this, this feeling of I'm waiting, I'm a bit anxious, what's going to happen, a little bit of an insecurity for the future. Um, and I, I see also that with the nine of pentacles there, I see that something is sort of coming in, something is closing, coming to an end. A chapter, a, a professional chapter or a source of income maybe. It, it could be a source of income. And then we have the page of cups here. So there is um, a new a feeling of, an exciting new feeling, a sort of uh, the feeling that you have when you're just about to go on holiday and everything is super exciting. You're looking forward to going to wonderfully exotic, exotic destination. But what is really burdening you is packing, for instance. I hate packing, by the way. And this, that, that's my worst nightmare. If, if I could literally just have someone or had a magic wand like Harry Potter and just, you know, wave at my suitcase and have my suitcase packed and everything done and be at my destination, that would be ideal for me. Um, so th this is the feeling I get, this exciting feeling, but also that burdensome feeling that... I'm not sure if this is the right thing, this is the right path. Someone, you're relying on someone. Is this a partnership? We're talking about partnership here. That's what I see now intuitively. I see there is the, something is coming. So you are, you're waiting for something. Someone has promised you something. So you're about to close a circle that has, it has to come to an end. And you're wa waiting for someone, this person that is going to be your business partner or who is going to invest in you or who is going to give you, support you and give you the resources that you need. And it's this person and you have that exciting feeling, but you also have that feeling of uh, a little bit of app apprehension about how this is going to go. That's why, but... You're very determined for the future. You're very laser focused. Emotionally though, you're not quite there. You're not, no, you're not fully emotionally or fully, let's say, fully confident in this idea or on, in this 
partnership. But you're going with it. You, you're, you're sort of giving the benefit of the doubt. You think, okay, what have I got to lose? I've anyways, I'm moving out or I'm closing that older chapter of my life, whether it's an old job or an old situation that as an older source of income, you're like, okay, that's not working. I have to move on. So what other options do I have? I don't have, I have this partnership. I have to put my faith in him and in this idea and just look forward and just put my everything into this. This is what I see. Yes, and I, King of Wands, and I, and I see that with a lot of hard work and determination, you're going to do good at this. You're going to do really well. So this person is a Leo, by the way, because they're standing behind you. So it's a fire sign. We're talking about fire sign, a partnership. Even though it's the King of Cups, I don't feel, I don't feel it's um, a water sign. To be honest, you're the water sign. The, this person is the fire sign because there's a lot of fire here next to the king of cups. And they will give you that sort of push and motivation and fire up your bottom that you need to, to do really well. And I do see you doing really well. And this is a good partnership for you. You know, water sign, fire sign you'll find a balance within this partnership relationship and it's going to work well for you. So let's see. Hmm. Okay. It's because we have the tower card. Never does a reader enjoy getting the tower card. Nope. Don't treat the messenger. And then we have the five of cups. So for some of you cancers, so this is a different cancer we're talking about. Someone else. Yeah, come here. Let me show you. Let me show you this troublemaker. Let me show you this troublemaker. There he is. Say hi, Louis. Hi, Louis. Yeah, this is King Louis, the troublemaker, the little old yap, 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 yapper. Hmm? Okay, enough. Oops. So. Oh, God. Knight of Pentacles and the Tower and Five of Cups. So it seems to me as something is coming your way and it's going to be a big bang. And it's going to leave you quite wounded emotionally. It's not going to be someone in your life is either coming. I, well, I feel someone is exiting your life. Someone who um, wasn't there for a long time, but you were, you grew to somewhat rely on this person financially and otherwise but it's it, suddenly and all of a sudden this person just leaves goes ends it and you're left you're left wounded as i said emotionally and licking your wounds because you pretty much saw this coming but you were in denial about it. You didn't want to deal with it. You weren't ready for it. So again, you're still not ready for it, but it's happening and it has to happen. It is the tower card. It's going to happen. It's going to be something is going to be quite disturbing, abrupt, the end, a boom. Again, we have the king of pentacles. And I say again, the king of pentacles because king, king of pentacles came out for um, cancer, for Gemini, I'm sorry, before. So, but the King of Pentacles is a good card. There you go. See the wolf? Wolf is protection, means he's being protected. 
the king of pentacles he's holding a pentacle a coin and he's he's in a library and he feels very good about himself so in the end this is a good thing this traumatic event right here you are being protected you do have people around you that love you and care for you and and will embrace you and give you love and affection and you will find your way it's it's that's for sure you know you will find your way you, you just need to take baby steps and one step at a time yeah that's that's how i see it but please don't despair you know i mean when it happens sometimes when bad things happen to us or unexpected things happen to us we we feel helpless we we don't know how to deal with it or what the next move is i would say just take the time withdraw a little bit take the time to as i said heal emotionally and then people around you anyways are helping you supporting you protecting you and you'll be able to land on your two feet again and be independent and earn your own money and just rebuild your life that's how i see it so next high priestess nine of wands and six of pentacles intuitively i see and that we have the six of pentacles this is a time where you intuitively know that in order to receive you need to give you need to be a lot more generous with your time with your emotions with your money with your space you need to do that in order to receive as well love guidance support and it will happen it's it's all happening but you need to be a little bit more in tune with your environment your surroundings and your intuition eight of cups whatever you do this is the advice i've got to give you whatever you do do it keeping yourself in mind what do i want to say by that put yourself forward and think of yourself as a third person think about what does this person this uh cancer needs in order to feel fulfilled to feel empowered to feel balanced to feel loved what is it try to figure that out don't don't rely on what other people say to you because you know yourself much better than anyone else and you will figure it out just you need to listen to your intuition a little bit more and and allow your guides your spirit guides to guide you and you'll find your path and that's how that's how i see it dear cancer now let's see what the uh advice is from the oracle deck so cancer advice please see see beyond the current situation exactly see beyond now see beyond what's troubling you what's disturbing you now try to see the bigger picture listen to your intuition and think of yourself you know yourself better than anyone else and you're the only one who's able to get yourself out of this as intact as possible Thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye.